Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be doing a video that's been requested a few times in the last couple of days. We're going to be taking a look at how to update Proxmox Backup Server 3 to Proxmox Backup Server 4. I've gone ahead and taken a poll and it seems like a majority of you, or at least 20% more of you, use Proxmox Backup Server as a VM. And this is great because it allows me to host it here on Proxmox. So what I've done, because I haven't used Proxbox Backup Server 3 or any other version prior, is I've gone ahead and installed it. I've set up a template so I could do testing, and I've cloned that template to make a VM here that you can see I've gone ahead and got running. Now moving over to our web interface, I've gone ahead and loaded, and we can log in. Now that we've logged in, you can see that I have no running tasks or anything going on here, although I have added a drive for configuration sake, but there is no backup scheduled. There's no backup set up or anything. This video is purely about doing this upgrade. And the reason I tell you that now is we're going to issue a couple of commands during this installation that will give me an error message. Otherwise, if I had backups scheduled. So what we're going to want to do here is make sure we're at Proxmox Backup Server 3.4.1 or newer. And in order to do that, we want to go to Administration and we're going to want to go to Repositories. If you don't already have the Enterprise version of PBS disabled, go ahead and disable that. Press Add, say OK to the message, select No Subscription, and press Add. I've already done so and I've updated to version 3.4.4 for you so we don't have to take these steps. But after you've added that no subscription repository, you go to update, you hit refresh, you say okay one more time, you wait until it says task okay, close the window, and you should have a bunch of updates here. You can go ahead and press update at that point. A console window will show up just like it has right here for me. And you answer Y, press enter, and your system will upgrade to 3.4.4. All right, so with the preliminary out of the way, let's get to doing this actual upgrade from backup server three to backup server four. So what we're going to do here is open shell by going to shell right under administrator. And we're going to issue our commands here by copying and pasting. Now, it was noted during my previous Proxmox upgrade video that you might want to use a command like screen because if this shell window gets closed, your installation is going to break. You're going to have to do a bunch of steps to recover. So if you're following along with my directions and you know how to use screen or something the like, go ahead and do so. I'm going to show you how to do this with shell but keep in mind you don't want to close your web browser or have your computer go to sleep during this process so the first thing we're going to do is issue a command that's going to give us an output of the version now we know from the web interface what our version is but it's good to always check so I'm pasting in this command proxmox backup manager versions and you should get an output of 3.4.4 if you've done all of the updates today. You want to make sure it's above 3.4.1. Now we're going to go ahead and make a backup copy of the PBS configuration, and we're going to do that with this command here. Now what this is going to do is make a tarball of your current configuration files for Proxmox Backup. Now it suggested that you go to the ETC Proxmox Backup and remove this from the host or the backup system and store this somewhere else. I would suggest using a tool like SCP, which will allow you to use basically SSH to download that file to your Hope system. If you're running Windows, you can execute that from PowerShell. You're going to go ahead and press enter and we'll return back to the command prompt and move on. The next command we're going to issue is a validation tool. And what this tool is going to do is make sure your Proxmox backup 
setup server is indeed ready for this upgrade. So here's the command. Let's go ahead and press enter. The script's going to run. I got seven passed out of nine total and the two were skipped. So I'm good to go ahead and proceed with this backup. Now, this is the command that I told you that we're going to execute that's gonna give me an error message. If you have backup set up on your server, you shouldn't get this error message. And what we wanna do is we wanna turn off the data store ID according to the Proxmox documentation. And we wanna put that into maintenance mode read only so that Proxmox backup server doesn't go ahead and try to do any backups while we're doing this upgrade. So here's the command to do so. And we're going to once again, press enter. Now you can see that I get an error message that there's no such data store ID that's to be expected as I have no backups or data stores or anything set up on this particular server. So I'm going to go ahead and move on with this process. You guys shouldn't see that error message. Now, the next step is to do basically what we did in the web interface prior to opening the shell. And that's to make sure that we have no available updates. And we're going to do that with just APT update, just like you would in any other Debian system. System, and it says that all packages are up to date. You'd want to go ahead and do an APT upgrade if any packages showed up at this point. We don't need to do that because we once again have already made sure we did that through the web interface. So the next thing we're going to need to do is issue a command which is going to allow us to download or will allow us to download a GPG key ring that is signed. This is going to be part of the security for the new Proxmox Backup Server 4, and we're going to need to have this file in order for the update to work. So we'll use a tool called wget to download that, and here's what the command looks like. Pressing enter, you can see we download a file to our system, and we check the checksum here and everything validates. Now, this next command is going to be a series of lines that are going to add the repos for the new Debian 13 or Debian Trixie operating system because Proxmox backup server is built upon Debian. So we need to update the version of Debian to upgrade the version of Proxmox. So here's this command to do so. And I'm going to go ahead and press enter. This will go ahead and add the repository list for Debian Trixie. Now we have two separate commands here. And if I go ahead and put this command in the description section, you have to note that all angle braces have to be removed by rules. So you will need to go ahead, look at what's on my screen and add in those angle braces if you copy and paste this command. I'm going to try and get this up on my personal website that I've been working on building. It's not fully built out. It's been kind of a back room project or kind of when I have free time project of something that I'd like to eventually fully create. But I'm going to try to get this up there so that you can copy and paste these commands. And with that, we're going to use cat to add the Proxmox repository for backup server for no subscriptions to our sources list. So this is the command to do so. Let's press enter and and continue on. Now that we have all of the sources added, we can go ahead and reissue that apt update command by entering apt update and pressing enter. This will download everything from our new repositories. And you can see we have a bunch of repos that were configured multiple times and stuff. We'll take care of this later on and clean all of this up. But what is important is that we have 349 packages that can be upgraded. So the next command we want to do is apt dist dash upgrade and we'll add the dash y to it so it automatically runs and press enter. Now this should take between five and 10 minutes to execute and you can see that we're pulling down everything from these repos. It's gonna take a while to go and I'll be back with you 
for any questions that we have to answer, and there will be a few during this process. All right, so the first thing Proxmox wants to know is what type of language we're speaking, and we're going to use U.S. English, so we can go ahead and press enter at this screen. The next thing it wants to know is if we want to do any updates to the ETC issue file, and in my previous video, I described this as a file that contained issues, and that was my assumption due to the name of this. As I mentioned in that video, I was corrected in the comment section and informed that this file actually holds version information for software and we did want to upgrade it. So for this tutorial, we will press Y and enter. Now it's going to ask us if we want to automatically reboot services during the installation. I'm going to choose no. And it's going to then ask us if it can reboot services of Postfix, SSH, and Ron. And since we are using the terminal here or the shell here inside of the web interface, we can go ahead and allow SSH to reboot. If you were indeed using SSH, you'd want to make sure you stopped SSH from restarting. So I'm going to leave all three here, press tab to highlight OK and press. A all right, so now our upgrade has finished and we will want to take note of this message here as this will be probably the last generation that uses draw boot and doesn't use UEFI of Debian. So you very well likely will want to look at upgrading or doing a fresh reinstall of this software if you are getting this message. Just as a note, we did get it. We are hosted in a VM and I didn't configure EFI boot, but you will want to make sure that if you get this and you're inside of anything that you plan on using, not for test purposes, that you do go ahead and upgrade or do the changeover to EFI. Now our upgrade has finished and if I go ahead and press refresh and hit reload, you can see that I've gone to version 2.0.12 and that's great but we did do a new kernel so we're going to want to issue a system ctl reboot command to reboot this system because we do indeed have a new kernel so that's what i'm going to do here and i'm going to press enter and we can kind of go back to our proxmox server where we have console up and watch that reboot process happen right here now i'll return to you once this reboot happens which happened before I was finished talking. So we can go ahead, go back to our web interface and do a refresh. Now, for some reason, I found Proxmox backup server's web interface to take a minute to give you the new login screen. If you don't get that login screen for whatever reason, I'd suggest going ahead, logging out and then logging back in to make sure that it doesn't happen through issuing the new commands. I'm gonna log in and of course we get that no subscription subscription verification that we are going to have to say OK to every time. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And we basically return to where we left off. And the first thing we're going to want to do now that it rebooted is check services. So let's go ahead and issue the command to check the Proxmox backup services as such. Press enter and we should get everything is running and up. fine. We can go ahead and press control C at this point and close this. Now we're going to rerun that checklist command to make sure that everything is indeed okay according to Proxmox's script. So let's issue that. And again, we got nine total, seven pass, two skip. Now it's time to go ahead and re-enable maintenance mode or disable maintenance mode rather and get those data stores up and running. We're gonna do that with this command here. And again, like I said, we have no data stores set up or anything, so we're gonna get an error message. So pressing enter, we get our error message. You shouldn't be seeing this error message as yours should have backup set up and running. Now, the last command is an optional command, but it is suggested in the Proxmox documentation. And that is to modernize the APT sources for the new Debian Trixie. So they've provided us with a tool to do this and it's APT modernize slash sources. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll answer why and our sources should be modernized. Now with that all of our post install post upgrade steps have been taken and we've kind of verified that Proxmox backup server is indeed up and running but we're going to get some error messages and we kind of need to do some cleanup. 
So to do that cleanup, let's go to administration, which is back kind of where we did repositories and stuff. And that's exactly where we're heading to repositories. And what we have is the modernized sources file. We want to go ahead and kind of disable that old PBS no subscription line. So let's go ahead and press disable there. We also want to go ahead and disable the PBS enterprises unless you're using enterprise and then well leave it and take advantage of those updates. So we'll again highlight that and press disable and press reload. Now we can go to updates and hit refresh. There won't be any new updates. We are on the latest version. We just did this upgrade but I want to show you that we are indeed getting no error messages. Again we'll have to answer yes to the fact that we're using no subscription and it'll run. It'll clean up. It'll read package list and it'll say task okay without any duplicates or anything. So now you're able to start using Proxmox Backup Server 4. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to upgrade to Proxmox Backup Server 4 from Proxmox Backup Server 3 and you consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to Virtualization to get more Proxmox and Virtualization content. As always, have a good night.